what would be some tips for for starting a podcast? Yeah, I think um, like I don't know if we did it the best way because we just bought in. We spent like four grand on right. equipment, and you know the funny thing is, I was all like numbers, being like, you know, we got to put this investment down to make this amount of money. And Louis like, wait, mate, I want to start a podcast, and I was like. That's two grand worth of outlays. How's that going to make any money? I'm like, we're not starting podcasts. We ended up doing it. And it's probably like the most valuable thing our business actually has at this point. So like huge buy just, you, mate. <laughs> huge buy you. I suppose, <laughs> yeah. I suppose like just oh, no, it, so. get, getting onto it. You can't worry too much about like the quality. Um, your first 50 episodes are going to be painful regardless. Like mm. you're going to be umming and ahhing. You're going to be interjecting when you shouldn't be. Um, and so on like we're 80 episodes in and still learning but i wish we started earlier so like my tip for anyone would be to just get going even if that's recording it on your phone and having a conversation uh, you can go from there from a uh, like from a mindset point of view putting yourself out there what does that mean to you guys from a marketing point of view How does yeah it i suppose um like early days especially for me like playing footy and stuff it's very nerve-wracking to get step outside of the box and and be different from the status quo um and like, I wouldn't have, you know, personally wouldn't have all these opportunities if I didn't. So um, yeah, for me, that definitely means like kind of just putting yourself out there. If you want to post, then post, like stop worrying about what people think. Um, and then once you do that, like we've created such a cool group of friends between Kados, Shepmates and Prime and us, like it's so fun to do. And it's so fun when we're all together that like, it doesn't really matter. Um, mm. So yeah. With what you guys now know, what would you do differently if you were to start your businesses today? Not just from a marketing point of view, but um, overall as well. Problem. I mean, like get on TikTok earlier. I think everyone said that. Like, I mean, the common trend is always like, I wish we started earlier. And I think that's that's anyone. But so, you didn't. You yeah, didn't start earlier. Yeah, exactly. You didn't. Um, but if we could go back and change something, maybe that. Um, other than that, like it's, I wouldn't change anything for for the world, to be honest. I, I don't really have any crazy tips. And we still don't have it all figured out. Like where I still don't consider us successful yet. We're nowhere near where we want to be. So when we are where we want to be, we'll let you know. In terms of how much of your week from a content creation point of view is structured and how much is it spontaneous? Uh, I'd say I uh, like we like to stick to a structure. Things like the podcast we're very structured with. Um, mm -hmm. But things like TikToks, I literally just do it whenever I feel like it. Or a story, I do it whenever I feel like it. I think you're pretty similar yeah ma mostly similar i've found recently though structuring it when i get a little bit kind of lacking in in kind of uh what's that motivation yeah motivation and, and so on like it's good to structure it so i've structured that i'm doing a half marathon and i'll be posting on like at least three tiktoks a week and i can get a little bit more traction doing that what are some ways that you guys um, find a motivation do you feed off each other one's up one's down and you get each other up or Talk us through how, from a, when yeah, when your motivation's down, how do you go about staying consistent? Mm, it's a good question. I don't know if I found the answer because, like, this week there was a few days where I was, like, I was feeling real sick and motivation was at an all-time low and I just mm. didn't post anything. And then I felt good a few days after and I posted and the post did better. So I don't know. For me, I'm just not going to force it really. Certainly bounce off, well, I bounce off Gab a fair bit um, when, it, when I'm lacking motivation. And we do for mo most posts, really, especially anything on 9 to 5. Like, we've got our separate personal accounts and then we come together for 9 to 5. Um, so, yeah, definitely bouncing off each other a fair bit as well.